What's good, homies? You know what time it is. Best day ever. We have a great day planned ahead, going down. About to go skate at one of my favorite skate parks, Sheldon Skate Park. We're gonna skate a skate park within a skate park. How does that even make sense? I don't know, stick around, you might check it out. We're also gonna have a special surprise guest that everyone freaking knows. We got a Q&A later tonight, and thank you everyone for sending questions. Just being positive, hit some adversity earlier today with some technical difficulties, but I'm not even tripping. I'm gonna manifest positivity, and then one more thing behind the camera, we got Andy Films. And he films the man. This guy is an extremely talented filmer. Check him out on Instagram at Andy Films. Awesome dude, great skater. Let's what get it cracking. Hunger TV. Level of one to ten. What's the bus? Eleven. Man, homies. I don't know if you saw that, but cut back to that little time warp thing right here. The freaking GoPro fell off. I drove back and there it was in the middle of the freaking road. God is good. I got my freaking camera from the middle of the road. Everything's fine. We're gonna have a great session skating here at Sheldon and then we're gonna go over to Stoner. I'm gonna make this the best freaking day ever no matter what. Optimism starts internally, not externally. Let's get to it. Damn, Zeus, you too cold, bro. What you doing? Yeah, yeah. Like tennis, I'm with this shit like I'm Dennis. I started this shit, I'm a finish. Niggas be hate, trying to blemish my image. Who wants to smoke? Two to three count with the scope. Extended clip long as a rope. We wipe his nose, just like he had him a cold. I knew that boy was a hoe. Pull up with the gang, you know that we buying. And what is your city, nigga? What did you climb? I am a beast, you cannot time it. Don't point a finger, this shit, he be dying. Just these niggas hate, these niggas ply. Oh, we got money, I'm running his wallet. You say you a killer. Stop it in the shootout. Your gun was dropping. You really a fraud. You cannot stomp on this yard. My niggas, they scamming, they swiping them cars. I am so high that I'm talking to Storm. Best day ever. No cap. Check it out, guys. Now comes the time where we meet the guest star of my vlog. I'm just gonna go check up on her right now. Oh, dude, let's go. This is confirmation that today is the best day ever. Pull up on her. Here's my special guest for the day, Dora. I know you all have great memories of her. And for me. Oh, what? Oh, what happened? Last day ever. Come on, right here. Last day ever. Do, 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 Dora. My name is Dora. I love you guys always. You want a kiss? Nah, I, I want to give you a kiss. Nah. I, no, you're not right there. Oh shoot. How can today not be the best day ever? <laughs> What's going on? She needs a pedicure, bad. I got my pedicure at the dentist. Oh, Venice pedicure. <laughs> yeah. So much, bro. I told you guys we had a special guest for the day. Her voice dropped a little, but you know what? It's all good. We don't judge. Let's go to Stoner. He said what's up to my homie Leo. I look forward to the Q&A later today. I'll see you guys later. What's going on, homies? Touchdown. Leo here, the man. Follow him on Instagram. He's just getting his Instagram started yes, with his skate edit. About to give him an independent lesson here at Stoner Park. What's up, homie? How was Dora? Amazing. We're gonna get after it. Freaking best day ever with my yes, boy Leo. Sir. Let's go! Nice, bro. Ooh. Ow. Jeez, you already know what time it is right here. Thank you, Andrew. Oh my god. Let's go. The best day ever. Let's bro. go right here. Come what is up, homies? Here we find ourselves at Andrew's humble abode. So not only am I blessed to be able to work with him at Road to Pro Skate Camp, where he's an amazing skate filmer and an amazing skater, I get to be his tutor because he's bilingual. But here we are. We're writing down his curriculum, and he's seemingly focusing when he's really playing skate freaking three while we're figuring out his curriculum focus. <laughs> We're gonna do a product opening as well, really quick. Tech Deck Element Neon Invasion. What do you think? First, first thoughts on it. Amazing. We're rocking with the with the neon grip tape. Oh, it's a nose man. Oh. Oh. 
drop a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Just trying to stay consistent. I'll catch you later at my apartment with the Q&A. Ladies and gentlemen, about to answer some questions that you guys have submitted on my Instagram for me. Let's just get right into it. Starting with the first question. How has skating and being an overall positive person impacted your life? Skating has impacted my life because you kind of desensitize yourself to failure. So you fail and fail, you fall, you fall, you get back up. You, you learn this trait of resilience. So that's helped me be more persistent in life skating in general. This has given me a dope outlet to be able to express myself. Positivity is a choice. It all starts internally. Peace, joy of life, and happiness starts internally. Anyways, what are your hobbies other than skating and surfing? I love writing poetry, uh, rapping, uh, hip hop, singing, playing my trumpet, hanging out with my friends. I actually love dancing. I get down. I shout out Hunter Raglioni. I love swimming. I think I covered all the bases with that one right there. What made you want to start Hungry? Bailey, my roommate, is a big inspiration with that. We both kind of collaborated because we wanted to have something to call our own. And we had this idea for over a year of just like accumulating ideas for a skate brand that we wanted to um, do ourselves that is based on uh, just what we love from our, from our particular passions and fuse them. And uh, shout out Tyler Marks Media as well as being our third face of the three headed monster that is hungry. So yeah, next question. How you doing, homie? Man, Julian, I'm doing great. Thank you for asking, I appreciate it. I had a pretty fantastic day today, so I can't complain. What is the best thing about teaching the next generation of skaters? Ricky, my boy, great question. Thank you for asking me. The best thing about teaching the next generation of skaters is they're phenomenally talented. Like I, I work with some kids that are gnarly, super talented skateboarders. Just being an influence on like their inner dialogue and then the way that they look at things, like that's the one of the best things is seeing like the growth, emotional growth that not only skateboarding facilitates, but that I'm able to influence and, and facilitate in these kids' lives. So that's something that's super precious to me and also why I feel so passionate about working with kids as well as skateboarding. Yeah. Okay, next question. Who is your new church bestie? Easy question. That's obviously you, Talia. So that's an easy answer. How long have you been teaching skateboarding? Well, I've been teaching skateboarding since like August 2020. But as far as like coaching, I've been coaching for a couple years. I used to coach volleyball in Oregon as well as a little bit in Culver City. Yeah, I've been working with with kids for a long time since I was like 19. So what size board do I ride? I used to ride a 775. I think every skater that's like over the age of 20 used to ride a skinny board. But yeah, 775 was dope for me. But I ride like, I like an 83, maybe an 85. Also, if I have like an eight, I can like triple kickflip on flat. Here we go. Next question. What is your fave skate park? We just went to Sheldon today and skated for the vlog. So I like, I enjoy Sheldon a lot. Another one of my favorite skate parks is right across the street from my apartment. I love Westchester. I made so many sick friends there next question do you like monkeys i love this question thank you so much andrew for asking this do you like monkeys i love monkeys i used to have a monkey club when i was forgot fourth grade or something couldn't enter my room unless you were a part of that monkey club what artist or music helped you through tough times oh man so much so much music i'd say tyler the creator so much emotional like connotation to his music but some music kind of creates heartache because i remember a particular memory and I kind of like to be honest with you I like I like dwelling in that sometimes just to like relive that and it may not be the most healthy thing that I that I participate in but you know as long as I'm not freaking uh resorting back to my old ways or you know hurting other people I think that it's fine but yeah I would definitely say Tyler the creator or Earl Sweatshirt you know where or who do you get your style inspiration from love the way you dress thank you bro as of late I've been super inspired by just like late 90s early 2000s baggy fits skateboarding like brandon b bold anyways yeah yeah skateboarding has a big impact on my style so i love being a part of that what's the biggest challenge you've ever faced oh biggest challenge i ever faced i would say overcoming heartache which maybe i'll discuss in a later vlog or, or something overcoming heartache or getting sober that was pretty difficult for me. Maybe seeing my parents divorce when I was like 12. I didn't really understand the severity of the impact that that had on my life up until like now, but that was difficult to see my my family split. But ultimately that happened for a reason. God has everything happen for a reason, I believe firmly. So it shaped me into the man that I am today. So yeah, grateful for that. Yeah, that's those are probably like one of my biggest challenges. Where do you get the inspo for your grip on your deck? Shout out my boy Gus, AKA Young Split. His intricate grip tape designs that he that he uh, has previously done kind of got me psyched on doing it 
cool piece of art for reference right there on my wall there's one of them grip jobs right there yeah i think gus totally inspired me also you did too seth you may have inadvertently inspired me where you had this board that we would skate on the trampoline with where you like section off the grip tape like super trippy i thought that that was really dope so it's funny you asked that question because you definitely inspired me how do you stay positive during hard times i try but it, find it very difficult i like to reflect on everything that god has has helped me over come whenever i'm like going through adversity i'm like yo i could have way freaking worse i'm blessed to be dealing with these issues privileged issues compared to what maybe other people are enduring why are your clothes so big i mean maybe i answered that already i love late 90s early 2000s fits that are just ridiculously like quadruple xl fits next question how has working with kids changed you as an adult shoot man it's definitely given me like a more youthful perspective as far as like dealing with issues where dude these kids that i work with are like the simplistic approach that they that they use for like problem solving or for like overcoming adversity it's really inspiring and it also just like kind of has you refocus to like what really matters in life how do you deal with being away from family a lot of phone calls, text messages. I, I see my family at least like twice a year, I would say. I mean, whenever I visit them, I make like really cool memories. So that kind of holds me off and up until I see them next. So favorite place to thrift, man, I love the Rose Bowl flea market as well as the Kobe swap meet. And sometimes like the Melrose flea market is also pretty dope. I found some snags at Salvation Army in Oregon. Reebok pumps, size nine, my size. Come on, bro, Reebok pumps. Um, how long have you been skating? I've been skating since I was 13. And yeah, so that's been 12 years of my life being in that I'm 25 years old right now. Next question, are you happy? Yes, I am happy. Thank you for asking. There are days where I feel super down as well. Crazy enough, not a lot of the times do I feel like I'm having the best day ever. Sometimes I feel like I'm having the freaking worst day ever. But ultimately, it's all internally where I can flip my perspective on that. Another day alive is definitely the freaking best day I could have. What was your number one inspiration to get slash stay sober? So I was living in this freaking cycle where I was no longer self-sufficient. I couldn't manage my life like at all. I've been trying to get sober since I was like 17 years old, 16 years old actually. And I never really wanted it for myself. Like other people wanted it for me, my family. I never really wanted it for, for myself. So this time, January 14th, 2019 i wanted it for myself i did it by the grace of god and by the community around me to be so dependent on substances just to feel like i love myself like i was over that so now I focus on my relationship with god as well as helping others and that helps me maintain my sobriety so what makes your sobriety so important what would you be doing if you weren't sober what makes my sobriety so important is just like seeing the life that i live now in comparison to the way that i used to live my life just seeing like the tremendous benefit that not only i receive but the way that i'm giving back and the way that i'm helping other people that struggle with the same thing yeah what would you be doing if i weren't sober i would not be making youtube i would not be coaching skateboarding i would not be working with kids i would be stagnant sitting on my couch playing video games i'd be involved in horrible relationships that are like super destructive in my life next question what's your favorite color i remember it used to be purple i like my school color shout out corbett school district red white and black yeah those are kind of my favorite colors. Last freaking question, cool stuff you're doing. How does your journey with sobriety impact the work you do with kids? So my sobriety is so important to me. Me being sober, it has me be present in the moment where I'm focusing on doing what I do to the best of my capabilities. You know, don't get me wrong. I'm not perfect at all. Sobriety like facilitates integrity in my life to where like I do the right thing when no one's looking. Anyways, I just wanted to take this time at the end of my vlog. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. If anyone is dealing with like substance abuse or you know, you're going through addiction or alcoholism, uh, or you're just not happy where you are with your life like yo I just want to let you know that like my DMs on Instagram Mitch Bus, my like my messages are open if you ever want to contact me please don't hesitate to do that I love helping other people and if I can do it a hundred percent you can do it you know one of the reasons why I like to place so much emphasis on gratitude and being grateful that I'm alive is because I feel like I shouldn't be alive you know with this with the situations that I 
have put myself in. I've totaled a bunch of vehicles in the past and I shouldn't be alive. You can overcome anything that's in your path, you know? If you ever need anyone to talk to, hit me up. I'll let you know how I did it, how I got sober, how I um, detoxed from certain substances that I was using. I'll give you the whole lowdown on how I am able to maintain my sobriety. So yeah, hit me up. I am uh, open ear, non-judgmental. If this makes you think of like one of your friends that is going through it, whether it be, you know, substance abuse or whether it be something else, life is way too short to not tell the people that you care about that you love them. Once again, thank you for everyone that submitted their question. Hit a like, a comment, and a freaking subscription for your boy right here. Best day ever. Love yourself. Take time to love others. Take time to do something that you freaking love today. Love you all. Thank you so much for your support. Like, comment, subscribe, and take it easy. Peace out, homies.